now available on e-readers everywhere. From the author of the Simp Trilogy, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Sable Holcombs, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make with women and protect your job with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available on e-readers everywhere. A lot of these black men, especially the ones who come from these single mother households, don't understand what the concept of respect is. And the main reason why they don't understand what the concept of respect is and why that intangible is important to themselves is because they grew up in this single mother household and they believe that her authority is the only authority. And because they believe that her authority is the only authority, what they do is they transfer the, re the codependent relationship they had with their mother to other women outside of their families. And when they do that, they pretty much establish a no boundary with women. And because they establish no boundaries with women, those women never learn how to respect them and see them as authority figures or see them as people they need to value or regard. And that's the big problem with these black men out here. They are looking at this, at these females out here like their mother instead of looking at them like they would any other person. And if any other person, especially another black male, were to come to them and disrespect them, they would be ready to fight. Unfortunately, when it comes down to this female, all he does is project his mother onto her. And then, because he's projecting his mother onto her, he gives her a pass for all of her irresponsible, reckless, disrespectful, and egregious behaviors instead of making an effort to check her. What the big problem is with these Afro-American Negro males primarily is is that they don't understand that respect is something that is earned and is something that you establish from day one. People may, may not like you, but you sure have to make sure that they respect you. And when people respect you, they understand that they may disagree with you, they may not like what you have to say, but they're going to step aside and let you say what you need to say and do what you need to do, and they understand that you have a right to be in a place just like they have a right to be in a place. And they have no right to go and try to overstep, into the, overstep their bounds and come into your territory and then tell you how to live, what to do, and if you don't agree with what they want to do, that they're going to do something to you. That's a clear sign that that person has no respect for you and no regard for you. And when people do that, that's when you have to take your respect and pretty much establish a hard boundary for yourself. And this is something most black men are too afraid to do because, again, one, they see their mother in many women out here. And then, two, a lot of these Negro men fear that somebody's going to call the police on them if they stand up for themselves. And you don't have to get physically violent to stand up for yourself. You don't have to get loud to stand up for yourself. You just have to have confidence in yourself and have a backbone to say, this is the boundary I'm establishing for myself. This is what I'm saying about how far things are going to go with me. And if you cross this line, I am going to check you. And if you keep pushing, I'm going to check even harder until you understand that you do not cross this line. You are not going to say what you, that type of stuff to someone. You are not going to do things to people. And that's what you do when you know understand how to get respect for yourself. Unfortunately, when it comes down to this black male, he pretty much does not understand, again, what that concept of respect is because he's been pretty much been disrespected from day one and he thinks disrespect is a norm. Now when you have been a person who has had who has been bullied or threatened, you understand what boundaries are. And if you grew up in a home with a father, you would understand what boundaries are. And when you understand what boundaries are, you understand how important respect is because a person who does not get respect is not a, is a person that no one will regard, a person who people will not see as someone they need to take seriously or consider as somebody important in their lives. And when it comes down to the black male, most people don't see him as important because he doesn't see himself as important enough to establish a boundary for himself, establish a, a, a standard of conduct for himself, 
and to establish a line in the sand for how he will be treated and how others will treat him. Because he doesn't do these things, people use him as a doormat just like his mother does and his girlfriend does. And all he does is wind up in codependent relationships with dysfunctional people who pretty much exploit him for their own personal gain. And that's what usually happens to these guys because they don't establish boundaries. And because they don't establish boundaries, they wind up getting pushed all the way to the wall until they either fight back in a violent manner or they wind up crumbling into dust. And that's what usually happens to many of these black males because of the way they are raised, the culture they are taught, and because these guys are never taught how to establish boundaries for themselves from day one because the relationship you have with someone from day one pretty much establishes the relationship you're going to have with them for the rest of your life. And if you do not establish your respect from day one, you are never going to get respect in that relationship because you are letting people know from day one, this is how things are going to be with you. You're not going to establish any boundaries. You're not going to check anyone. And because you don't take your respect, no one gives you the respect you deserve. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.